Hello and welcome to today's video. Um, today uh, is my pen of the year video. So what I've done is I've taken the one pen that struck me most this year uh, and I want to do a really quick little chat about it on a little writing sample and that kind of stuff. Two things I want to do first is firstly I want to talk about the fact that the pen that I'm talking about today is it's a pretty expensive pen. Um, but it means a lot to me. So, uh, but what I wanted to do was also show a pen that I think is a pen to, and particularly a brand to watch out for, uh, that is in a much more sort of comfortable price point, uh, and that is Tianzi. Tianzi uh, came out with their piston filling fountain pen, and uh, you know a lot of us reviewers were sort of uh, given access to the pen, and I think it's a beautiful pen, and uh, it like the material is nice, it writes well, it's got a good piston and comes in around 55 Australian dollars. So super, super affordable. Um, so it's a brand to watch out for. It's a brand I'm excited about seeing what they can do as they iron out a few kinks, but also like develop a nice range of pens themselves. The second thing I wanna do today is give a highly commended, and I wouldn't normally do this for a pen of the year video, uh, but this video, this video is coming late in the year. I got this pen relatively recently and uh, I love it a lot. And I, you know, have, uh, uh, you know, I'm working on the review and all of that. Uh, it is the Wancha Dream Pen True Irushi, and this is the Midori Temenori finish. Um, this is a really, really great pen. I'm really enjoying getting to know it. I think this is going to be, um, yeah, it's a very, very nice pen. I think uh, watch out for the review in the next few weeks. It's, um, it's a real corker. So Wancha doing amazing things as well. But we're here to see the pen of the year and my pen of the year this year. Uh, might not be a surprise to everyone. It is this, the Ryan Prusak L16 or Legend. Uh, and this is the uh, Dragon Slayer pattern. So this is a numbered edition. As you can see there, it's number 66 of 150. Uh, and it is Moose Antler with a Scrimshaw or laser uh, laser done scrimshaw um, of the dragon Fafner slaying, uh, being slayed by uh, Siegfried there. Uh, this is a scene from the ring cycle. It's called the dragon slayer for obvious reasons. Uh, it's got a nice wooden cap there with these beautiful dragon scales. It's got a steel nib, a burnished brass section. It's got great weight. It's a big pen, um, but it is an expensive pen. Like these pens, you know, retail almost 500 US dollars. So it is sort of getting up there in price. Um, I have done a full review of this. I'll link it down below so you can watch it to get all the details. Um, but the reason I'm talking about it today, this is my, this pen struck me the most of any pen this year. And uh, while it's got a, a steel Yovo nib, which uh, is great and writes beautifully, uh, what struck me about this pen actually is uh the the craftsmanship and the art that actually goes into it and that's that's what you pay for so the the machining of it all the cutting of it the design that beautiful artwork which is an original artwork by ryan crusack himself um how that works so beautifully like cycling through the quality of how it's done uh you know all these details like it is a yovo nib with a schmidt uh, converter so we know what we you know what you're getting when you you know get this pen it just works so beautifully and it is just so beautiful like it is it's a work of art and that is what you're paying for you are paying for the fact that this is a work of art you're not buying a mass produced well yes there is 150 is it i think i think i said yeah 150 of this particular design done and he does a number of other designs it is a work of art uh, so what we have here is the Ryan Crusack Dragon Slayer L16 with a medium steel nib. The ink I have in this today is Detrimentus Sherlock Holmes which I think is also called Night Blue, from memory. So you can see it's a lovely wet pen, just beautiful, great, beautifully tuned, smooth, not super broad for a medium, 
but writes beautifully, writes consistently. It's great in the hands, a lovely weight through that brass section, um, you know, and good size, girth. It's just such a joy to write with, and that's why this is my pen of the year for 2021. Um, I was excited to talk to Ryan about, you know, getting one of his pens. And when he mentioned this particular design that he had, being an opera singer myself and a Wagner fanatic, a pen that sort of links into that was uh, kind of absolutely bang on for, for my um, for my enjoyment of it. And uh, as I said, it writes beautifully. It's You can watch the full review to see all the details. But yeah, Ryan Crusack doing amazing, amazing things. The L16 Dragon Slayer here. Um, Check out his website, support him, he does amazing things. So this is my pen of the year. Thank you for watching. Um, please like and subscribe. Get in touch with me if there's th things you'd like me to look at. If you'd like to support the channel, get in touch. But please have a happy and safe new year. Uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing you all in 2022. Lots of exciting things coming. See you soon.